going on, guys? Xavier Caudill here, a.k.a. High Octane Analysis. Um, sorry about the lack of videos recently. I haven't posted a film analysis on any lineman in the past week or so, which is bad. You know, I shouldn't be doing that. But I've been working on a, a few side projects. I've been doing analysis for um, a YouTube channel by the name of Bring the Juice, uh, who is a Colts fan. Or a, like a Colts fan page kind of thing. So I, I've been doing a few other things, but I'm back this week. I'm getting my five in. I'm going to be doing my picks again like I did last week. I'm going to do a power rankings video probably today too, right after this Roger Safford video. But I felt like getting this Roger Safford video up because I really like Roger. Um, he's a really consistent left guard. He's been a consistent left guard in the league for a while. Um, he's usually top 15 guards every year, uh, especially the last three years, easily. He's super talented, and i um, happy to see him on the list. I, I'm happy to get to review him today. So without further ado, let's get into this video here. First play here, we're just going to be seeing a regular just pass block, uh, just nothing special, just pass protection against the three-take defensive lineman. Well, they're in a wide nine formation, but this is their one-take technically. This is their three-take over here. But let's see it. Boom. Catches the bull rush, does a really good job. Ben Jones comes over, knocks him actually further out of his rush lane. So Tannehill can step up and get this 15 yards. That's a really good job by Safford. Absorbing this bull rush. Ben Jones coming over, knocking him a little bit out of the way and giving um, Ryan Tannehill all kinds of room to run for this 15-yard game on third down, picking up this first down. Really good job by them. On this next play here, we're going to be seeing him handle the stunt from the defensive end and the D-tackle lined up in this uh, four-eye over the tackle. Uh, they do a really good job here. You can tell that Safford, like I said, he's a consistent guard. He's going to be making plays like this. Um, he's very savvy. He knows what the defense is doing a majority of the time that he's on the field, and it's really uh, evident here. You can tell how well he picks up this stunt. So let's see it. Boom, yep, knows immediately. Once he sees him come off a little light-footed like he's taking his outside, going towards that tackle, he knows he's going to deliver a strike right here, knock him over, and then pick up this guy coming back to the inside. Everyone did a really good job there on the offensive line for the Titans, so I'm sure Tannehill was really pleased about seeing this play. Like I said, good punch, comes back over, does a really good job here. Great job there by Safford. So on this play, you're going to be seeing – a reach left, he's going to sell the run really well here, stay in front of his block, and allow Tannehill to sell this play action. And like I said, he just does a really good job here selling the run and staying on his man, being physical at con at the line of scrimmage, making contact. Just a really good job here from Safford overall. Let's see it. Boom, gets his hands on. Allowing Tannehill to find a strike for 20-something yards. Like I said, really, really good job here from Safford. Bam, getting his helmet on, being aggressive, selling this run, getting linebackers down, and that in turn allows Ryan Tannehill to find the open A.J. Brown for a big gain. On this play, you're going to see what I really like about Safford, and that is his ability to help out his teammates um, at all times. You know, And he does a really good job of doing – more than just his job. He always goes above and beyond. He's a reason this offensive line is so good. Uh, him, Ben Jones, you know, are one of the best center left guard combos in the league, rivaling Ryan Kelly and Quentin Nelson, uh, Rodney Hudson, Richie Incognito. Even though Incognito's injured, that's still, a, you know, they're up there with them guys. I don't think they're quite that caliber, but they are, you know, they're very talented. And here you're going to see Safford come off the ball, hit one guy, hit the next, and then go immediately to this linebacker, which is a really good job from him. I love seeing this kind of play from a guard, just putting in that extra effort just to try to ensure that this is going to be an open lane, knocks him off balance, gives Ben Jones a good block there. This guy makes gets back on the play, but this is a second string left tackle. If that's Taylor Luan, that's probably a different story, I'm going to be honest with you. But still yet, really good job by Safford. Gets one hand on, 
gets the bump, knocks him off balance, gets the linebacker. Really good job working one, two, three, first level to the second. It's a great job by him. So on this play, we're going to see Safford double team with Ben Jones on number 70, get all kinds of movement. And this movement allows Derrick Henry to run right off Safford's hip for a pretty good gain here. And you're going to see, like I said, Ben Jones, Safford, really good combination. They're going to be doubling on the 70 here, moving 70 off the ball, changing the line of scrimmage, and opening up a hole for Derrick Henry to run through. Let's see it. Step moving, tight end, going to kick. Tackle blocking 59 and just opens up this hole. Really good job there by Ben Jones, by Safford. Really, really good job on that double team. So on this play, we're just going to see a, another base pass protection against their one technique. He does a really good job here setting to his inside, picking 99 up, absorbing that bull rush, and just doing a really good job overall protection here. So let's see it. Good initial step, cuts off that inside, gets his hat on him, absorbs the push, gets his hands on, hand fighting, hand fighting. Just does a really good job there. 99 never has a chance. He is a one technique, but uh, that was just really good technique and really good power. Just a good display of being a, a real wall on the inside there from Safford to me. So on this play... We're going to see a really good double team again from Ben Jones, Safford, and we're also going to see a good double team from these guys right here too. And these double teams actually allow Derrick Henry to find a open hole. You will see them give movement over here, allowing them to get movement over here, allowing Derrick Henry to go one-on-one -on -one against the guy that's already being blocked, just pretty much to show just lower his head and get the end zone. 250 pounds, you're not stopping Derrick Henry in this situation. But here's Safford. Let's see what he does. Boom. Good job getting off the ball, getting movement, changing the line of scrimmage. Keeping 57. 57's not clean there. He comes over, makes the hit. He's already in the end zone. The 57's not clean, and the reason he's not clean is because Ben Jones and Safford do a great job double-teaming that guy into 57, messing with him, getting his line of vision messed up, keeping him what they call dirty back there. Uh, when a linebacker's clean, that means that their uh, defensive tackle's eating up a double-team and keeping the lineman from getting to him. But right there, they move that D-tackle into that linebacker. Great job from Safford and Ben Jones right there. Just a great play overall for them two guys. So on this play, you're going to see Safford work from first level to second level really well and then explode on contact on this linebacker. Do a really good job generating power, getting a good punch on him, and knocking him off balance. So let's see here. Boom, gets the double team. Doesn't have to do much there, but then gets the 56, gets a good punch on him, knocks him off balance and then stays with him and keeps blocking. Really good effort from him. Really good strength. Good display of just power coming from Safford right there. So on this play, you're going to be seeing Safford move out, take over this edge rushing guy, because 70 is going to have to get this guy right here. So they're going to bring this corner on the blitz. Safford's going to come out, have to catch this edge rusher, and he does a really good job. You're going to see a big punch right here, knock him off balance, and really move him at will right here. This is what I love about Safford. He's super strong, got really good footwork for being as big as he is. And right here, 58 fills him, you know. 58 tries to get upfield, tries to get to this pass rusher, and he's met with a wall. So let's see it right here. Good step. Comes to 58, gets his hands on. 58 tries to keep running, tries to get his outside, but Safford too strong. Ben Jones getting there too, throwing him off balance and almost to the ground. Really good job there from Safford and company to pick up that blitz, recognize what's happening, and get their matchups. So in this play, this is more about effort to me. Just seeing the effort level from Safford right here is really, really cool. And he actually works through the outside shoulder of this three technique and lets Ben Jones take over. Right there. 
And once Ben Jones takes over, you're going to see him work his way to this guy right here, get on him, and then stay on him for a good 15 yards just working down the field, not giving up on the play. So let's see it. Gets his hands on, does a really good job here of just hand fighting with him, keeping his outside shoulder, making sure he never gets his ball towards this football or gets his helmet towards this football. Again, really good job, really good effort by Safford here of just working to that next level and then staying with this man running down the field. You see how much he's hustling. You see his play. He is an elite guard in this NFL. So on this play, as you can probably tell from the last few clips, Safford's really turned up the intensity. Um, he, Everyone on this Titans offense and defense can tell, okay, this game's kind of getting away from us. The, Bengals are playing pretty well. Joe Burrow is playing well. We got to do something. And you're going to see Safford, Stafford, I should say, get to this ne or Safford, I'm sorry, should get, will get to this next level, get hands on these linebackers and just absolutely manhandle them with aggressive punches, just running as hard as you can. And you're going to see right here a super aggressive punch getting this lot middle linebacker off balance. Again, takes a really good angle here. 57's flowing. But he's going to get hit by absolute freight train here, getting knocked off balance. And then he's going to get another one right there that almost knocks him off. A really good job by Safford there. Um, just perfection. And it's really a great display of his mobility for a guy as big as him being able to move, follow this linebacker, and then get an aggressive punch and knock him off balance. That's super, super, super impressive to me. Again, on this play. You're going to see Safford just make an absolute clobbering hit on somebody. Like I said, they turned up the aggression. They turned up uh, their level of play. They're down to the Bengals. It's the third quarter. You know, it's, it's crunch time. It's, it's time to get going, you know, getting not really panic mode, but getting that mode to where, okay, we need a win. We're, in, we're a, an elite team. We have to win this game against the Bengals, who are a very struggling team this year. And here you're going to see him deliver an absolute doozy of a punch right here onto this uh, D tackle. Let's see it. Bam. Just makes a crazy punch right there. Knocks him straight to the ground. Absolutely. Just a great display of his strength, his vision, and Really, his footwork to be able to work all the way over there and just deliver that kind of punch. That's just explosion coming from Safford, him making a great play and knocking his guy to the ground. Now, the protection from everyone else wasn't the best, but from Safford right there, it was a was immaculate. Again, you're going to be seeing Safford work from the first to the second level really well, show off his speed. But here he does something that he does a little too frequently for my liking. On this play, you're going to see him just kind of run at his defense or run at the linebacker, run at his matchup, and just not really break down and make this play, and he's just going to get sidestep because of it. Now, the way he plays, yes, this will work out sometimes. You'll see them big plays like you saw a second ago where he was just pushing guys around like they're nothing. But uh, a good portion of the time, this is what you're going to see from linebackers. They're really agile. They're smaller than you. They're just going to sidestep you when they see you overplaying, getting your weight forward, just trying to run into him like a freight train. And we'll see it here. This is still yet. It's still a really good block on the first level and then really good job to move to the second level and still interfere with this linebacker. And that's really what matters. But I would still like to see him break down, chop his feet, and make a really solid block here. It's better than just seeing this. See, he gets his weight out in front. He just kind of throws him. And then he gets back in on the play and makes the tackle here. So, like I said, I, I would really like to see him just break down there and make that block because then Derrick Henry's running. You know, he, he's he's getting five, ten more yards if that guy's not there. But still yet, still a pretty good play and a pretty good display of talent there from Safford. On this play, we're going to see Safford pull around and meet a linebacker in this hole. And what he does once he meets that linebacker, he does a good job flipping his hips, turning this linebacker to the inside, and letting the running back run right off his hip. This is an excellent block from Safford. Really textbook. Let's see it here. Good step. Doesn't fall step. Open straight up. 
comes around, makes contact with 57, and immediately pushes him to the inside, letting the running back run right off his hip for a pretty good gain there. It's a really good job by Safford and a good job by the running back to get off his hip and then move up, get a pretty good gain. This is the last play I have for Safford, and this is you're going to see a stunt right here. And again, as we saw earlier, he handles the stunt really well. Whenever a team stunts on him, he just, I mean, he picks it up effortlessly. It's like he already knows what's happening. He studies these players on film. You can tell he sees their tendencies, how they play it. And when he comes to game day, he does a fantastic job against them. Right here, you're going to see it's no exception. He sees he comes off light-footed, gets aggressive punch here to make sure his center can take over, and then comes back around and picks up 97 effortlessly. A really good job handling that stunt there. <clears throat> Just an excellent job overall from Safford today. But hey, that's going to be all the clips I have for today. Um, You know, just to talk about him a little bit. Like I said, I really like Roger Safford. Uh, he's not the fastest guy on earth, but for what he is, a big power running guard that is really good in pass protection, has really agile feet. He has ballerina feet for somebody as big as he is. Um, he's super talented. Like I said, consistent. Top 15 in the NFL every year easily at the guard position. Probably top 10. I, I would say top 10. Um, but top 15 is a more of a conservative estimate for him the last three years. He's a really talented guy. And if you, know, if you like offensive linemen, go check him out. He's really good. You can watch any game he has, and he's going to have really aggressive plays like you saw in the third where he's just pushing people around. Uh, at will but yeah the, that's all i got for today uh if you like the content you know uh, drop a like drop a subscribe i post stuff like this every day but until next time guys peace